What's going on, people? We are back again with another video. And this one right here is all about Ari and Benningham in the most recent episode of 90 Day Diaries. And it seems to me as if the couple are definitely not in a good place. And to be honest with you, Benningham, to be honest, I blame him for this. But you're about to find that out within this video. Before we get into it, let's start off by hitting that subscribe button as well as that like button. But hey ho, let's get into this bad boy. I think it's about seven months ago, and we live in a really amazing apartment. But Benny doesn't have a job yet, so <laughs> we have a roommate. Mom, when you watch Audrey, we're going to Mother Janice. Hi, guys. <sighs> Binium does not have a job yet. They live in a nice apartment, but he does not have a job yet, so therefore she's having to pay for it, and also the extra roommate who happens to be their mother. Now, the reason why the mother's living with them is because the mother is a, uh, she said the name, her mother is a nurse that travels around, so basically she nurses around, you know what I mean? So her parents are still together, they're happily married, just that her mom's always in a move, and right now she happens to be in the same location as her daughter. That is that in a nutshell. But anyway, this man does not have a job. How interesting. Because this man has never been motivated ever to even have a job. Because all he's ever cared about is himself and his own priorities when it comes to the dancing and the fighting. But uh, let's get into why this relationship is on the rocks. Vinny spends a lot of time with his friends. And even when he's in the house, he's just not been present. And I'm not quite sure why that is. How can you not be providing for your family? How can you not be bringing any money into your household? But for some reason, you still have time to go out and spend time with your friends more than you do with your woman and your children. Psst, typical. The responsibility on me to take care of them, which is hard because I actually I work and I'm taking class and, you know, then I have to make Abby's lunch and, you know, or cook dinner. Yeah, he seems to do less and less. If he was ever without Harry, he would need someone to do whatever he does for him. And that's the problem. And that is the problem. This man is literally looking for someone to, to mother him. Maybe that's how he is in his culture. You know, maybe in Ethiopia, he was mothered all the time. But boy, you're an American now, buddy. <laughs> I said that like, like such a proud American. I ain't even American. Like, I'm all the way over here in the UK, guys. <laughs> you're an American here, buddy. <laughs> Either way, though, um, it is quite sad to see that he's uh, allowing or putting all the pressure on Ari. And most importantly, isn't there to support with his own child. And let's not forget, this man already has a married, he's already been married before to an American and has a child of an American. But that woman literally disappeared off the face of the earth, was nothing to do with him. And I've said this before in previous seasons when I've seen these guys, I've said, I feel like there's a pattern between him and his behavior with Ari compared to whatever he had with his previous woman. Because honestly, certain things just don't make sense. But now they're making even more sense within this diary. I mean, it doesn't really seem fair to you. Dad, because obviously, you know, I love Vinny. I want, I want it to work out, but love is not enough. Love doesn't make a relationship. You can love someone, uh, but that doesn't mean you're going to stay together. To be having to take care of both your child and your husband. So it's not, you, know, you need that, that um, the give and take, a compromise, or else you don't have peace in your home. And then... <clears throat> the grand scheme of what makes it worse and what makes it harder to have peace in the home is that she's taking care of her husband and her child in all aspects. In every aspect, financially, you know what I mean? Cooking the food, looking after the kid, in all aspects. He's not, he's not, he's not, he, he has, he's not helping in any kind of capacity. And that's the biggest problem. No help at all. I said the other day when we were baking challah, Benny. And I think she was right. I think some time apart for Benny and I would really do us some good. Obviously, we haven't been getting along. You know, the last month has been very difficult for us. And, you know, to be honest, you haven't been very nice to me. Ooh. And then on top of that, he hasn't even been nice to his own woman as well, the mother of his own child, children. <laughs> the situation just seems to get even more and more worse. You haven't been around much to help me. And I just think that you've been spending so much time with your friends and you, you know, I feel like they're more important to you than your family is. Imagine that. Now, of course, there's certain people in this world that are insecure, you know, who will definitely say these type of comments and, you know, it's coming from a bad place. But this isn't coming from a bad place because he's not denying none of it. It is very, very abundantly clear that this man is really around to be there for his children. He's really around to be there for his wife. So why are you here? Probably because he wanted the American dream. But I do find it quite funny though how this man has been able to move all the way to the States, right? Not have a job, but he's got friends though. He's got friends. Clearly, clearly, clearly he had his friends before he even came to America. You know what I mean? Because to be honest with you, let's be real, to make friends, there's only different different situations you can make friends and see if it work. Or I guess at the same time though, he does have the pursuit of dancing and the pursuit of fighting. So maybe that's how he made them. But either way though, his priorities are in the wrong place. His priorities from the very get-go was to just uplift the career that he never had, which was fighting, you know, and dancing. The careers that were never gonna bring any any only any money to the table. And the, the worst thing about it is that he was 100 percent willing to rely on 
Ari's parents for money, you know? And that's, that was Ari's biggest mistake. Ari's biggest mistake was bringing this man to the States, knowing that he wasn't going to provide and knowing that her parents was going to have to help them both survive until further notice. That was her biggest mistake because the thing is, when it comes to, let's compare him to Kobe. Kobe, when he came to America, you knew he had intentions to want to work. He knew he obviously couldn't work to begin with, but you knew once he got there, the, the plan was to then work. This guy has never had those intentions whatsoever. But well, we'll get to Kobe though. Is another, the, the, <laughs> we'll get to that one because that video is coming as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's not getting off that easy. <laughs> but let's get into it. And so I have to just decide if it's, what, what really is the problem? Is it me? Is it you? Is it both of us? Is it both of us together? Is it, you know, like, I don't really know. Like, I don't have... I think it's a break. I think to be honest with you, like, Ari shouldn't even try and waste her time trying to self-reflect and see if, it, and try and figure out whether she's a problem or not. There's no point. Because people like Benny is the kind of person, like, He'll probably make you feel like you're the problem, but he knows that you're not the problem. He'll know that he's just not into you. He'll know that he just has, has other priorities that are more important to him. He just knows that, you know, his responsibilities are responsibilities that he's not willing to take because he's too used to, you know, being mothered at home, probably. It's such a sad way. No one should waste their time with, with a mama's boy. Arguably, you can even say no one should waste time with a daddy's girl, neither, to be honest with you. Because, boy, the thing with a daddy's girl, the standard that she's living up to, depending on her dad, they can be high as hell. Oof. Redeeming for mama's boy. Damn. You better be ready to be a nanny. <laughs> but we continue. It's very, very bad idea. Because I learned from my past relationship. My ex-wife, she lived. She never came back. We have a problem. We have a... Come on, let's, let's talk about that. You know, his ex-wife told him exactly the same thing that maybe it's time to have a break. And then when she left, she never came back. That is a big sign there. That tells you that this guy's behavior is... It's not his first time. She had enough of him, and she had enough of him as well. She picked him around with, with, with their kid and got the kid adopted by somebody else the last time I heard. Whether that's factual or not, I don't know, but that's what I heard. Bad communication. She doesn't understand me very well. Even I don't understand her. Like, really. I couldn't. You cannot tell me that you guys have been together for this long and you're telling me that communication is the issue. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Oldest trick in the book. I ain't buying none of that nonsense. I mean, listen, who needs to communicate? Okay, if you have decided to become a parent, do I need to communicate with anybody to tell them, hey, like, if, I, if I'm a parent, right, I'm going to know my role of being a, a dad. If I'm a husband, I'm going to know my role of being a husband. I know that going out with my friends more than spending time with my kid and more than spending with my woman isn't a good thing. I don't need to talk about that. There's no, no communications needed in that aspect whatsoever. Don't, don't idiot. I'm so sorry I can't be all the things that you, you know, wish that I could be. I mean, no one can. No one's perfect to be perfect. But I mean, I think I'm bad because I really do want you to be happy. The way this guy, you know what? I need to really like, let me just, let me just move out the way real quick because uh, I need to analyze his body language. She, she, she's breaking down to him, speaking about how she feels. And this guy's body language is like, I don't give a damn. I want you to be with someone that makes you happy. But obviously, I don't hate being around me. I give zero Fs. Zero freaking Fs. You know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. Well, you guys let me know what you're thinking down below. I mean, I, I think for me, it was a very good idea for her to say maybe it's time that we have a break. So hopefully he can realize that what, what he's got going is, you know, it's something that he has to work on. And he has to realize that a relationship doesn't work with just one person making the energy and making the effort. A relationship works with both people making efforts. He has to realize that he's no longer an Ethiopian. He has to realize that he's no longer his mother around him. He has to realize that he has, he has to realize that he has to be a man. He has to realize he has to start bringing food to the table and not just being this. If you want to be like this, go back home and find a woman who's going to tolerate that. So that's, that's where you're going to get it. The chance of him getting that in, in, in America? Possible. Boy, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a negative way. I'm just saying that like, that's not how we are built in first world countries. Thank you, we'll take it. It's subjective. Nonetheless, though, you guys let me know what you're thinking about and we can talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course.